black noir fans rejoice. Even though noir died at the end of season 3, Eric Kripke has said that the actor Nathan Mitchell will come back next season as a new character wearing the black noir costume. But it seems like his return will cause some complications to the show's storyline. So sit back and relax as we discuss the complications caused by black noir's return and list the funniest tweets about Billy Butcher. First off, let's address the comic book twist. People don't even know it's me under this thing. I gotta wear it just to get a cap. Payback is the country's premier superhero team. Diehard fans may remember this as, near the end of the comics, it's revealed that Black Noir is a clone of Homelander, made to kill and replace Homelander if he ever became a liability. Out of pure spite, Noir tricked Homelander into thinking that he did many of the terrible things that Noir did, like beating up Butcher's wife. That's dark. But even though there is still a way for the show to pull off the twist, Mitchell playing a new version of Noir makes it even less likely because he won't look anything like Homelander. And if the show wanted to use this plot point, Anthony Starr would have played a role in Season 4. Next up, so how is Black Noir showing up in Season 4? Oh, thank you. As of right now, it hasn't been revealed how Black Noir will be explained in Season 4 of The Boys, but there are many ways to do it. For example, it would be easy to explain that the new Noir wants to carry on Noir's legacy after he has died, which is very common in the superhero game, looking at you Sam Wilson. Not only that, but if Noir's death in Season 3 isn't widely known, the new Noir could be someone who's being forced to act like the original Noir to keep up the Seven's reputation. And as Homelander was upset about killing Noir, doing something like that could be his way of trying to hold on to the one person he thought of as a friend. Followed by, can the boy still add a Homelander-like twist? I need you to come back. Even though it's less likely to happen now than before, we think it wouldn't be impossible for the boys to use the Homelander clone twist from the comics. Nathan Mitchell won't look like Anthony Starr's Homelander, but the new Black Noir may be just a non-identical clone of Homelander, since having Homelander's DNA doesn't mean being the same as the original. That would also eliminate Noir as a possible replacement for Homelander, but he could still be written as a sadist who wants to torture Homelander as much as possible. Hmm, hmm that is an interesting angle to explore. But here's the thing, the idea that the boys could use the same twist with Black Noir and Homelander from the comics was already unlikely, but the casting of Nathan Mitchell as the new Black Noir in Season 4 of The Boys seems to put an end to the idea for good. Even so, the twist could still happen by changing some details, but given how different Nathan Mitchell's Black Noir is from the comics, that seems unlikely. It's safe to say that The Boys has been very different from the original comics, and with this news about Noir, it doesn't look like that will be changing anytime soon. But regardless of that, we're going to have to wait impatiently to find find out. Moving on to the funniest tweets about Billy Butcher. First up, I'm into Billy Butcher. When we're all done here, I'll buy a nice big family size bottle of top shelf lube. This scene from a Winnie the Pooh cartoon, in which the friendly bear talks with Tigger and Rabbit, has gone viral and is used in many different contexts these days. Pooh stands in for an open Billy Butcher fan, showing how much they love the character. Is a rude, impulsive man willing to use people close to him to get what he wants? Yes, a serious talk like this would be needed to fall for Butcher. Secondly, Billy in Saints Row. <laughs> In video games, changing characters' looks can be fun, but not when there aren't many attires and hairstyles to choose from. This was the Twitter user's problem when he tried to make his own Billy Butcher in the third Saints Row game. The result? It's more of a classic Butcher look with a turtleneck and a long coat. The beard is another detail that reminds us of Carl Urban's beard, but the tweet compares him to Bobby Meatpacker from The Dudes, because let's be honest here, he looks like a poor man's Billy Butcher. Up next, beating up Chucky. We all saw the famous hero gasm scene from the comics finally added to the third season, the house is owned by the superhero siblings, TNT Twins. And interestingly, an episode of the slasher show Chucky, named after the killer doll from the Child's Play series, was filmed there. Considering how meta and random the boys can be, it would be cool to see what would happen if Billy met Chucky, that is, if there were no licensing issues between the two franchises. Also, both of these characters tend to be very violent. They've been known to smile with bloody teeth, and this would be a bloody interesting mix. Now, let's say something nice about the UK, shall we? No matter how wide. I've got to be. You're here. It's safe to say that Butcher blurting out British curse words and drinking tea is a good way to show what the Brits are like, and this tweet shows how Billy Butcher can be both the best and the worst example of a British man on popular TV. No offense. On the one hand, his rudeness can set a bad example, but on the other, he might be the coolest character in a show where most people are American. But despite his heavy English accent, the character is played by New Zealander Carl Urban, not to mention the two halves. 
You really are a spin image of my little brother. The Fairly Odd Parents is a certified hood classic among the best Nickelodeon cartoons. It's about a 10 year old boy who gets two fairy godparents, Cosmo and Wanda. Wanda gives brainy smart advice, and Cosmo makes the couple more fun, and their different personalities go well together because they are so different. So it makes perfect sense for Billy Butcher and Huey to be a godparent couple. Huey is more of a good boy who makes more strategic decisions than destructive ones, but Butcher, on the other hand, is always killing and acting on impulse. What's more, a comic written by Butcher himself. Many show fans don't think the original comic series by Garth Ennis is up to the same level as the show, and when it comes to the story, there are some big differences between the comic and the movie, with even Billy Butcher sporting a shaven and way different facial look than his TV counterpart. Nonetheless, this tweet suggests that the chaotic and violent comic could have come from the twisted mind of none other than Butcher himself. Not to forget Butcher's crime record. Twats, but I just, I never really got how that's an insult. They're flexible take a pounding. Okay, so this needs a little bit of background. It all started with a tweet showing a screenshot of a very long piece of writing with small words that couldn't be read. The tweet asked, which character from the boys are you defending in this way? A Twitter user with the handle Butcher Archive replied, obviously, Billy Butcher. The Billy Butcher fan wasn't lying when they gave a long list of his crimes, like assault, battery, and grand theft auto to back up their answer. And Butcher might deserve a long essay to explain why he does what he does, since he usually hurts soups and the humans who deserve it. Coming up next, living status. Alive, dying. The Boys Wikia has a long list of Butcher's crimes and makes fun of the fact that he's still alive. But ever since he lost his wife, Becca, Butcher has been getting worse and worse. And as he had a rough childhood and saw his brother kill himself when he was young, it's unlikely he ever had a stable time. Now that he is the leader of the boys, he's doing ruthless things to even the people who stand by him. Overall, it would be a shame to live your life like Billy Butcher or be a man who is alive, dying, as it says on his Wikia page. And even in a literal sense of the term, Butcher is dying because he's hooked on Temp V now. Last but not least, everyone needs a Huey. This heavily memed bit from an interview with Barbara Walters shows that Oprah Winfrey is good friends with famous TV host Gail King. And while Butcher has never said that he likes his sidekick, he does like and cares about Huey a lot. Also, the writer behind their characters shows that they have different personalities. Butcher is an anti-hero, and there are a lot of gray areas in his story. Huey, on the other hand, brings to mind some of Butcher's good qualities. And even though he and Bill Billy sometimes disagree, he is always by his side. And according to Oprah, Huey is a friend that everyone deserves. We agree with you, Oprah. We do. And that's all for this video. What are your thoughts on these tweets about Butcher? Do you think the boys can still do their infamous comic book twist? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And you're a good cop.